going on everybody out there? This is Popular Stranger and we are back at you again today with another Madden 24 Ultimate Team video. In today's video, we're going to go over how you can set up your account to earn free Twitch drop packs throughout the entire Madden 24 year. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video, if you like it, if it helps you out, make sure you go ahead and click that thumbs up button. Shows a lot of support on the channel, helps the videos get noticed. Also, if you're brand new here, you're searching around YouTube for Mutt24 content, whether it's how to make coins, how to get free players, how to build your Ultimate Team, you found the right channel for everything. Stay a while, click that subscribe button, turn that notification bell on as well so you guys are alerted when we drop additional videos. Let's get right on into it. So we're going to show you how to set up your account for Twitch drops, but let's talk about what they are for all of you that are new here. A lot of you have probably played Mutt and are familiar with them, but these are packs that you can earn by tuning into various Twitch streams and watching people who stream Madden 24. Now this weekend, right now, if you're watching this video on August 18th, throughout this weekend, you can earn up to seven free Twitch drop packs, and it's an open directory, which means anybody that has drops enabled and is streaming Madden 24 this weekend, you can tune into their stream and earn packs if you guys want to make sure you give me a follow on twitch i'd greatly appreciate it the name is the same as it is on youtube i am popular stranger now not only will we have these various open directory twitch drop weekends like we have one now and there'll likely be one during the first kickoff weekend of the nfl and usually around holiday times like thanksgiving halloween christmas etc the super bowl um these are going to be ways to earn packs also we have weekly gmm shows that's good morning madden where we get updates from EA directly going over stuff that's going on in Ultimate Team. I don't believe the full schedule has been out yet this year, but usually, at least last year, it was Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday at 10.30 a.m. Eastern, and when it is during the week, it's usually going to start at 10.30 a.m. Tuning into that show will also earn you Twitch drops. You can see I have two of them now. So the Madden Live Pack is from the Open Directory drops that are going on right now. The Twitch Drop Pack is from GMM this morning, and these packs typically aren't going to give you amazing content at least early in the year but gold cards hold so much value for so many reasons early in the year that even if we get 470 overalls which it looks like we're going to do we got 171 thanks ea these cards at the end of the day still are worth a little bit and become valuable and there'll be special packs throughout the year during the mcs tournaments those are the madden championship series for pro players where you can earn special tokens that might give you a special player anytime stuff like that happens of course We'll have you covered within videos to go over it to let you know when you need to watch and what exactly you can need to earn. But at the end of the day, to sum it up, you're going to want to take advantage of this if you're a Mutt player because you can get free content for tuning into streams. Twitch drops every year are usually a frustrating topic for some players. If you follow everything I do in this video, this will help you get your account locked in so you can get drops all year. If you've done it in previous years, you shouldn't have to do anything to set it up again. But if you're not receiving them for whatever reason, you might want to go through all of the steps to make sure you have everything correct. First step is to head on over to EA.com because there's this triangle of things that need to be linked to ensure that you get the drops. You need to have your EA account linked to the proper either gamer tag, PC name, whatever that is, or PlayStation name that you use to play Madden. So EA has to be linked to that name. And then that also has to be linked to your Twitch name to ensure that everybody's talking to each other so you can get your twitch drop so step number one is go to ea.com now for the past several years when you log into a madden title and i think generally just an ea title for the first time it pretty much makes you create an ea account and it links it to your gamer tag despite or no matter what console you're on but when you go to ea.com look towards the upper right just click this little person icon and you're going to go ahead and click sign in it's going to give you the ability to sign in from your playstation network name directly x Xbox, PC, or if you signed in before with your email address, you can use that as well. I would, for the safest route, just log in directly through whatever console you're on. So for me, because I'm on PlayStation, I'm going to go ahead and click the PlayStation button, and then that will log me in with my PSN ID and password. After you do that, look towards the bottom left for connections. Click connections, and this will show you all of your connected accounts. So it is very, very important that when you see 
PSN or Xbox on this connected accounts page, you need to have the correct gamer tag PSN name associated with whatever ID you're logged in via EA. If those things do not match, it's a possibility you could be earning progress towards drops and earning drop packs, but they're being sent to the wrong account. After that, you're going to want to head on over to twitch.tv. Of course, you're going to have to create a Twitch username if you have not done that yet. And once you're logged into your Twitch account, you're going to click your profile icon up at the upper right, go to the drop down, and you can select drops and rewards. Now, I know some of you might be doing this from a mobile phone. We'll explain and cover everything regarding that. But for now, again, go to drops and rewards. We will cover the inventory screen and the all campaign screen, but you need to click manage your connections to ensure and make sure that you have everything linked correctly. So when you are earning progress towards these drops, one more time, they're going to the right account, the correct account. This page will show you everything that you have connected to your Twitch account real quick. If you have Amazon Prime, you do get a free subscription to any person on Twitch. It doesn't auto renew. It's a way to support them and it costs you nothing. It's part of your Amazon Prime membership. So if you see this Amazon connection option, definitely go ahead and link your Amazon account to your Twitch account so you can take advantage of using that Prime membership on anybody. And if you want to use it on me, I'd greatly appreciate that. If you scroll down further under other connections, you might have a long list of things like I do. Maybe you don't, but one of the main things we're going to be looking for here is electronic art. So if you don't see that as a, as a connected option, right, it says connected two years ago for me, this could be an issue why you're not getting your drops. If you do have this connected and everything I've showed you so far is the way you have it as well, you can always disconnect your account and then reconnect it, basically start from scratch. And of course you can press the disconnect button to do so. If you don't have it connected or don't see it under that connections tab, you can visit EA's Twitch channel. This is the quickest way that I found to do that connection. If you scroll down to the panels here, they have one that says Twitch drops. And now when I click it, it's going to basically redirect me to my EA account. And because I'm signed into my EA account, it verifies that we have everything linked together. And I just want to reiterate, if we go back to EA.com, make sure that we're signed in and click that connections tab towards the bottom left, you should see your Twitch account linked as well. If this is still not working, you can always unlink from this screen as well and then relink it just to make sure everything's all clean and set up. If we go back to that drops in reward pages, this is a great way to see when Twitch drops may be activated. If you go over to all campaigns, this is going to show you any game that's streaming on Twitch where you can earn content for tuning in. So I scrolled down and I found Madden 24, right? I'm going to click it. It's going to show you exactly what you can earn. And for this open directory weekend, it's up to seven packs. It also shows you the dates and how long you actually have to watch to earn each individual pack. A lot of times with the MCS Pro events, you can earn tokens to get you additional content and to receive said tokens, you may have to watch for a certain number of hours. Uh, this will always tell you exactly how long you need to watch to get which reward or item. You can see these for 30 minutes, an hour, you get the Mutt Twitch packs. And if I scroll down a little bit further, here are the GMM packs. So each and every morning at 10.30 a.m. Eastern time, and this one only shows for Friday the 18th, which was today, uh, but this will also show you when you can tune in for GMM to earn those packs as well. Also notice with the GMM, it says that you have to watch the participating live channel and it's EA's channel. That's the only option. Whereas for this open directory weekend, it says go to, to, to a participating live channel. And if I click this, it's going to bring me to the entire Madden 24 directory with only streamers that have drops enabled. So if you tune into anybody on this page, that will start your progress towards the Twitch drops. Now I will show you how to check your progress on Earth earning a Twitch drop, but one thing that's super important, and it's not this way all the time, but I would definitely make it a practice, is that sometimes you need to claim a existing drop that you've already earned for the progress to start tracking towards the next one. So you can see I have one waiting for me. All I have to do is simply click play, claim now, and that's gonna send the pack over to my account for me to open. It can take a half hour, it can take some time, basically speaking here. So don't expect to click claim now, open up your game right away, and the pack be there. Just be a little patient. If you happen to be on mobile doing this, you're going to go open up the Twitch app. You're going to press your profile icon over on the upper left, and you're going to click drops and rewards. And on the inventory side of it, you should be able to claim. You can see there's a claim now button. If for whatever reason, it does not work from the mobile app, the best thing to do is open up a web browser on your phone, go to Google and Google Twitch desktop site. It will then bring you to the desktop version 
of Twitch, not being in the app, and you can do everything directly from there, as I've been showing you in this video. We'll jump back over to the desktop site, and I'm gonna go ahead and click claim now. It will basically show that we have claimed that drop, and now you're gonna see that we can start earning progress towards our next, next drop pack. Once you've been tuned into a stream for a little bit to check your drops progress, all you have to do, and this works on mobile as well, is click your profile icon, whether it's the upper left or the upper right, and if you look under drops and rewards, you're going to see the percentage that you are at. A lot of people will not listen when I say this, but I promise you, you don't have to type anything in anybody's chat with any type of command to get the progress to go faster, to make it start tracking, to redeem anything. This will happen all by itself as long as you're tuned into the stream. And they also don't have an eyeball detector on any of these streams. A lot of people will say, EA is making us watch the stream to earn a pack. You can put it on and walk away. I promise you, it will still work. It might be a little bit more difficult on mobile because you have to keep your screen open the entire time. But if you have a computer, you can load up a browser on Twitch as long as you're logged in and everything's connected and walk away and you will see that you will still earn your progress regardless if you're there or not. Occasionally, you won't see your progress moving. I just sat here and watched it go from 8 to 10 in front of my eyes. If you ever feel like it's stuck for whatever reason, just close whatever stream you're watching and reopen it in a new browser. Again, typing exclamation point drops or tracking or progress or redeem my drop or any made up created command that somebody in the community starts and the rest of you guys follow will not work, will not change anything. You just simply need to watch the stream. And if we go back over to mobile, again, I just want to show you the progress and what it looks like as you're actively earning a drop. So we'll go ahead and press our icon in the upper left, go to drops and rewards. And if I scroll down a little bit here, you can see that third pack for today is at 11%. It, you know, mirrors exactly what we saw on the desktop site. This one even shows you how long you need to watch in order to redeem this drop. And one other thing, a lot of times with these open drop weekends, if a streamer ends their stream, you can pick up your progress just by going to somebody else's stream. It may take a moment to realize what's going on, but it'll eventually switch from one streamer to another. And if I'm at 11% now and I go to a new stream, it'll pick up from that 11%. And there you have it. I think we covered each and everything you need to know on how to set up your account for Twitch drops, how to claim them, how to earn them, how to track your progress without typing anything in any singular chat in the entire universe. And if this video helps you out, make sure you go ahead and smash that thumbs up button. Thank you guys for tuning in. My name is Popular Stranger and I'm out. Peace.